that friend hanging out. These seats, if you look down, they flip up. And then you have pillows and like a little cushion and everything. This whole thing turns into a nice bed. Pass right out. I just woke up from sleeping for about almost eight hours. So that's eight hours on a ten now, ten and a half hour flight. Ten and a half hour flight, so most of it did not exist for me. It was pure comfort, pure relaxed sensation. So we're gonna continue on to London. See you soon. What do we have here, Franny? A lemon curd little mini cake. Where did we get this from? From uh, Fort Nam in Mason. Yeah, that looks yummy. Mm -hmm. Let me get a little bite of that. It's really good. Mmm. That is fantastic. That's really good. We have a charcoal infused cone. Delicious vanilla. And what is that? Berry. Cheers. The dome on top of St. Paul's is the second largest unsupported cathedral dome in the world. The largest being in St. Peter's in the Vatican City of Rome. Many famous people are buried in the crypt of St. Paul's, including the Duke of Wellington. The bell is known as the Bench. He got on the minister at the time of building the Bench in the Paul. And there she is, the friend of her woman. Hold it, twist. I gotcha. I just bumped her nose. <laughs> back at the hotel and I'm trying some snacky poos. These are walkers. I had these back in 2004 or five last time I was in London. But this is cheese and onion. I liked these back in the day. Let me give it a try. Mmm. Cheesy, delicious. Not too salty. Nice and crunchy. 
And these little treats are wheat crunchies, crispy bacon. Let's take a look at those. That's different from what I'm used to in the States. Kind of like bugle texture, but different shape. Let me get a crunch. Ooh, that's tasty. I don't know if this is a common snack, but I wanted to try it out because it's different. Hmm. Very interesting, but I prefer the cheese onion walkers. Those are the winners for me. Butterscotch. Ooh, yum. Hold up the little wrapper. Let's see what that thing is. There's pop Crunchy rocks in it. Crunchy Blast by Cadbury. There's, There's what? Pop rocks in the chocolate. Oh, give me a little bite of that. So we got these little candies. They're like, they, they look like nerds, but they're called millions. Let me just set this down like this. Pour a few in the old hand here. So they get a good consistency of them. Okay. Got them in there. Let me just shoot them. Mmm. 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 Ah. Really good. They don't crunch or taste like nerds. Because, mmm. They're actually bubblegum flavored. So the weird thing is that as you chew them, you feel like they're going to turn into bubblegum. And you're getting a nice big wad of bubblegum for your gum chewing experience and pleasures. But as you chew it, they dissolve away because it's not a bubblegum. It's a regular chewable candy. What'd they say? How old is this, this house building? What is this, an estate? It's a manor. A manor. How old is this manor? <clears throat> it was built around 1635. And you could see here that they have secret passageways. The, the woman that runs the place was telling us that there's secret passageways all around. Some of them were used to sneak priests from one area to another or something yeah. like that. I don't think this one was. Well, it could be. We never know. They may just be telling us that so we don't sneak through it. Or that maybe the secret passageway is behind the wardrobe. You think so. So you think we're wrong. You, you don't think it's this one because this is too obvious. I don't know. Maybe they made it obvious afterwards. Maybe. But they did also say that this place is supposed to be haunted. <coughs> Didn't they say that? Many... They said that they've never seen anything, but multiple guests have reported seeing the same things. And I wish I knew that last night because I would have went spelunking around looking for ghosts. No, I'm glad I didn't know. So that way I was able to sleep. Who are you going to call?